Six heats of the Group 1 sporting bet Vic Peters Classic at Wentworth Park on Saturday night showcased some of Australia's most promising young greyhounds. Victoria struck first, with Gimme Fuel not only taking out the opening heat, but recording the fastest time of the night of 29.64. Again quickly and so did Gimme Fuel going to the lead. Moving up now is uh, Belfast Johnny. They were followed the fence by Bo Khan. Cut me off. Further back was Pleiades. The next one was uh, Cut me off on the tail end. On the bend was the stately striker. But homeward bound Gimme Fuel. The flying Victorian in front. And Gimme Fuel raced away to win. Well the Victorians have opened the batting in this year's Vic Peters. And uh, Brett Bravo obviously a very impressive win there. Yeah he's a good young dog. It's uh we didn't know how he'd go at 500, he's had a bit of an interrupted preparation and it's his only second 500 so we're quite happy. And obviously you know, handling an, an awkward draw, a couple of fast dogs early but he just showed great early pace. Yeah to be honest, uh, he goes dead straight out of the boxes, so down near the fence isn't a massive advantage to him but he's uh, just a good young dog and hopefully he keeps going. Obviously you've had a bit of success here at Wentworth Park over the time and this greyhound seems to tick a few boxes for you. Oh look, he's a real, real good young dog. He's got all the breed and he's a great traveller. He's got, you know, he's great speed. He's, he's just a good young dog. Hopefully he takes the next step. All right, best of luck next week through the second round. Thanks, guys. Thank you. In Heat 2, last start, Group 3 winner Ritza Hattie started the popular elect. But it was the outsider Whale and Joy who finished best along the rails to snatch victory. Up on the inside, Ritza Hattie three wide into the first turn. Side over on the fence as Whale and Joy Nalir in as they turn. And further back was Mike Marlow. End of the straight, Whale and Joy got the inside run race to the lead from Ritza Hattie and Whale and Joy. Whale and Joy's landed the prize. Avondale Porsche put her unbeaten record on the line in Heat 3. And despite facing her toughest test to date, she showed plenty of heart to record win number nine. Now Porsche looking for the lead. They were followed by Ding's Chance Soviet Missile. Ding's Chance was flattened around the outside. Ritza Liam from Great Drama. Down the back they go. The leader is Avondale Porsche, but Zipping Willow is hot in pursuit on the outside. Six lengths away next, Soviet Missile, followed by Premier Moz. Around the outside is Ritza Liam from Great Drama. Ding's Chance on the corner. The favourite's gone. Avondale Porsche is still there. Coming home solidly is Zephyr Missile. With Ritzelier, but Avondale Porsche will win. Another brilliant heat of the Vic Peters and Avondale Porsche for Bo Headley, a super win there tonight. Yeah, gutsy effort, real gutsy effort. She's got a couple of checks on the turn there, and um, when Jason Mackay's pitch loomed up down the back, I thought we were in a bit of trouble, but no, she stuck on. Now, OK, over the last couple of years, you've put the lead around a couple of smart greyhounds. How does this one uh, sort of sit in the list? Um, I've probably had a quicker one in Avondale Queen, but um, this, this bitch just can't put a foot wrong, so I can't fault her. She just does everything right. And when you look at the record, 9 out of 9, I suppose there's not much more you can do. No, I can't ask any more of not 9 from 9, so 100%. And, and the races have all been different here. The four she's won, like everything sort of happened differently in the racing. And the times are even a little bit different, but she just does enough to yeah. find that line. Always, yeah. She just seems to push hard enough. There's a little bit concerned on the home turn there, but she just digs deep. Yeah. All right, well, all the best through the series, and uh, you're a live chance. I appreciate it. Thank you. State National Sprint finalist Royal Sprite bounced back to his best with an all-the-way win in Heat 4. First turn on the outside making ground as Pantone Green followed by Envy. Followed by Queen Esther, Pantone Green, Folk Tales, homeward bound. Royal Sprite's kick, what a good size, can't hang on to it. And it's too good for them, the favourite Royal Sprite. Royal Sprite by two lengths on the line. Smart Tasmanian buckle up West started favourite in Heat 5 and was impressive, keeping his undefeated Wentworth Park record intact. Was followed by Living Proof, two lengths away next, Jack and Ada, Pride of Mykonos. Fitting through on the fence, King Cobber, this leader's gone for home. Next is Jack and Ada, Pride of Mykonos, but in the strat as well, the favourite Buckle Up Wiz at Romsen. Buckle Up Wiz by four. Well, Debbie Cannon, you've made an absolute habit of winning here at Wentworth Park, and Buckle Up Wiz just going huge. Um, really thrilled. We love the place. We enjoy racing here and Ted's, Ted Medhurst has done a marvellous job with the dog so he places them perfectly and it's all credit to him. He just handled the eight tonight so well. He just came across, sat outside the lead of the four and then just took off and again fast time. Yeah, we just sort of hoped that if he jumped a little bit enough, you know, to come up the side of him and by the first turn if he was up there he had a chance. So, and he'd done everything right. All right, anyway, all the best of luck through the series. Enjoy the trimming. Thanks, Darwin. Despite starting at double-figure odds, Locke's wish was impressive, taking out the final heat, capping off a great night of racing. 
Hard was Locke's wish and further back now was Calamity Trigger with Corborn. Brody Strikers Express and the tail ender was being good. Down the back they go. Frosty Vintage on the outside is trying to get past Bella Sonora with punches up coming around them Locke's wish. Corborn Brody was next as they turn and a gap in the field. Calamity Trigger, Placid Planet, Frosty Vintage the leader coming out of his Locke's wish. Frosty Vintage sitting down. Locke's wish has got it and Locke's wish raced away to win.